Hey everybody, Quick Street's back here with another video here for the Quick Street Corner. Today, as we are starting to drive around Daytona, I just noticed I did not turn on my audio input for here for the opening segment of the, the cars here. We're driving the Gander NASCAR truck here around Daytona getting ready for the first week of league racing over at Full Throttle Sim Racing. Link in the description and probably up here on the picture, so... Let's go ahead and turn on the fake car sounds here. Alright, no, that's enough. Alright, but as I was practicing, I was starting to notice that my speed on my last couple races was not near where I thought it should be. And as you guys can probably see up here in the corner in the tel tel um, tel telemetry. I can't speak this morning. It's too early. I've been working from home for too long. But... My foot is down on the pedal here, and we are only registering about 80% of the throttle, so that's going to be an issue here. So today, we're going to take apart my Thrustmaster T3PA pedals. I'm pretty much guessing that they are filthy inside, being that I am, my office is down in the basement, we have a cat, and well, it's probably been about three months since I took it apart and cleaned everything inside, so we're going to end up taking a look at that today. So if you like the content here, along with any kind of sim gaming, trucking, a lot of games I like to play with my Thrustmaster steering wheel that I have right now, go ahead and give a like, subscribe, comment, do all that YouTube stuff here on, on this channel. All right, as we come around, we're going to kind of park this uh, very silent, it, it, it sounds like a Prius driving around there, you can't even tell. All right, well, here's the pedals here, as you can see. They are filthy. And you can tell that we do have a white cat. as we have got white cat hairs all over the place. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you all the screws that you're going to need to take apart. We're going to do a little bit of a clean job in it. We're going to get this set of pedals all ready for week one. You know, flip it over here. There's only a couple screws that we're going to have to take apart. So that's pretty good. No plastic clips that you have to worry about breaking. Uh, there are a few. There's actually just one cable that we're going to take apart today for this video. So, All right. We only need a few tools. We just need a Allen wrench. I believe a 2 millimeter is going to do here for these pedals. And take each one of these off and the shims that are behind each one. And then let's go ahead and do a quick look here at the back of the pedal. Now, we could easily just take a can of compressed air and blow it into the back here. As you can see, there's lots of dirt and grime back in there. A shot of compressed air might just solve our problem, but being that it's week one of the racing season coming up, we're going to take a better uh, approach to this and do a good job cleaning here. All right, so this is just a picture. We took off the pedals here. It's just two uh, screws per pedal. As I said, there's a little shim behind each one. Uh, you'll know which pedal is which. When we put these on, luckily with the Thrustmaster T3PAs, there are four holes on the clutch and the brake, so you can move them side to side. And with the throttle, there are nine or six. Six, nine. So we're going to move them a little bit further down so we get a better angle when we're pressing down otherwise I'm gonna to have to keep my foot a little bit higher to get all the way down so we're gonna fix that when we put this thing back together alright so now we're looking at a picture of the underside of the Thrustmaster pedals here which uh, you can already tell they're also dirty so we're gonna give these a good wipe down with a a damp cloth with a little bit of a mild soap residue on it uh, just kind of clean it up real nice but all you're going to need is a small set of precision screwdrivers. If you have any kind of computer repair kit or if you have any worthwhile set of tools, you already have yourselves a couple of pre precision screwdrivers. So go ahead and get one of those out. And all you're going to need to do is remove 12 screws here. As you can see on this picture here, I have them all numbered. And what you're going to, they're all easy to get out except for number three. So number three, you're going to have to kind of Pull the cable back a little bit, be careful here. And then underneath the cable is the, this third screw, which is, it's easy to get out, 
but it's a pain in the butt to get back in. So if you have a, a magnetized set of precision screwdrivers, it'll make it a lot easier. All right, now that we have all these screws out, put them safely aside, what you're gonna be able to do is, it's, it's gonna be able to lift right up, but you're gonna have to be careful here. If, uh, we're gonna take a look underneath here, and there is a small cable that we're gonna have to pull off first. This basically is the connection that will plug into your computer. Uh, the other three connections here go to the pedals, which those can stay connected here. So let's just safely remove this one. Okay, now that we have the cable apart, we can take the bottom plate off as it's already set aside here. We're just kind of doing a visual scan. You can see there's lots of dirt and grime. There's it looks like the case, the metal casing's a little dirty, but that's kind of rust or discoloration. We'll try to wipe a little bit of, of that up. Like I said earlier, just take a, a very lightly damp cloth. We're going to remove a lot of the dust and hair that's got built up in here. And as you can see, those are the potentiometers. That's where the problem is. Uh, luckily, these haven't gone bad. They just get dirty because there's a little bit of openings in it. So... And then here are the three cables to your pedals, which we remained plugged in. If you ever do have to take them apart, they are labeled here. And then, which comes in handy if you ever have to invert these pedals and you want to switch them around. All right, so I'm not going to show you the video where I just take a cloth and I wipe this all down. But it did take a couple paper towels, and we will wipe the bottom of this one down just to get all that dust out of here so maybe we won't have to clean these pedals again for another two to three months. All right, so I got it wiped down. You can see it's a little bit cleaner here. And what I'm doing now is just taking a can of compressed air, which is pretty much all you really need to do. Just stick it in there and just spray around. We're gonna try to knock some of this dust out, which we will re-wipe up again. Do not use WD-40, please do not. Uh, WD-40 does make an electronic cleaner. It's hard to find, you probably have to order it online. Now, if your pedals do make any kind of squeaking noises, uh, just inside the metal casing here are two plastic uh, cogs. There's also a metal rod that goes through them. You can just take a little bit of like a chain greaser, just a quick shot of there, and that'll get rid of any kind of squeaking noises here. Alright, so this should about do it. We're going to put this back together and we're going to test it out before we put all the screws back in. Hopefully this has done the trick. Alright, we're back here in the Gander Mountain NASCAR truck. Alright, testing it out. We got the audio working. And as you can see up in the corner here, the throttle is registering at 100%. So that is good. Alright, so that was it. There was just a lot of dust in those potentiometers, kind of gets in the way, doesn't do a full registration, so just a little bit of compressed air is all it took. All right, don't forget to put in back in those 12 screws, or your bottom plate's going to be flopping around every time you go into a hard braking point. All right, so that's going to wrap up this video here. This is how you clean your Thrustmaster pedals. Sure, most other pedals that they have different ways of taking them apart but all your pedals are going to need some tender loving care every once in a while make sure they stay clean i'm gonna have to figure out what to do in my basement here because i'm sure these pedals are going to get dusty real quick all right please don't forget like subscribe to these videos comment down below and then also don't forget to wander over to my twitch channel that link is also in the description we are going to be streaming some iRacing events coming up real soon, as well as check out the Full Throttle Sim Racing League. They have their own YouTube page. They broadcast pretty much all their weekly uh, races, as well as some other ones. And until next time, see you guys on the Flippity Flip. Peace out.